Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Adrian Whitsett. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. A man is in serious condition after a shooting in Colerain Township. Police said he showed up at UC Hospital Medical Center around 1.30 this morning. He said he'd been shot, told officers it happened on Galbraith and Pippin Streets. The investigation ongoing. Also, arson investigators are working to learn what led up to this late night house fire that sent a person to the hospital. We're told it happened at this home on Euclid Avenue right around 10 last night. Firefighters were able to help get one person out of the home. We're told they suffered minor injuries. Everyone else was able to escape on their own. As even if the link was posted inadvertently, Mrs. Bodie demonstrated gross negligence and reckless conduct. The Lakota local school board said they want board member Darby Bodie to quit after she posted a pornographic link on her public Facebook page. Bodie said that link was a typo. It was supposed to be a critique against the board. Bodie said that the board is keeping the public in the dark about an upcoming curriculum audit. We reached out to her. She says she wants to review everything she's been accused of before she will comment further. We'll keep you posted. The flying pig is this weekend. You will already start to see road closures as crews finish the finish line. Marion Way closes between Elm Street and Joe Nuxall Way. Will be closed all weekend long starting today. Elm Street will also close today between 2nd Street and Freedom Way. It'll reopen at 4 this afternoon. Jen? As they wait to get to the marathon, we still have to get through today's mostly cloudy day on the cool side. I mean, yesterday was cool, but the sun, it helps with comfort. Today, not happening, folks. It is going to be overcast to mostly cloudy throughout the day. Temperatures warm to about 60 at the warmest, and there's even a rain chance for later on this evening. Now, this is all ahead of our warm front. It's not like it's a big organized and guaranteed rain potential. But I would say after 5 o'clock, we will see some of these isolated showers moving in and passing southeast through the tri-state, and that's going to continue even after we get past sunset this evening.